Here we have our mermaid fountain. It's fountain 1735. It's a large fountain with a secured lid glazed in a blue with uh, a yeah, wavy uh, structure in it. You see all this uh, whitish uh, wave like structures. So it goes all around the surface. The spout is a shell and as a decoration we have a mermaid. So this fountain was a prototype for a fountain a customer ordered. She likes to have a mermaid uh, yeah, looking like her with her beautiful long red hair hairs and yeah. So the spout is a shell, the water bubbles up inside and flows out of uh, the shell into the lid where the cat can drink. Cat can drink here at this uh, bubbler where it bubbles out and this little tower and it flows back through the uh, backflow area. There is a sieve and a pre-filter inside and inside is a filter. Here for demonstration and for this video I have a Trinkwell 360 filter system inside and the pump and the pump pumps it back up and so it circulates. So instead of the Trinkwell 360 you can have our bio filter. I made a video where you can see all my different filter options. The bio filter has a media bag inside with loose charcoal. This is the most economic way of filtering the water in these fountains. Uh, but you have to deal with charcoal and a media bag. So on power supply you can have or the fountain comes with a wall power adapter, it's a low voltage wall power adapter, it's 4.5 or 5 volt. Or you can even connect this fountain to a battery. You can let it run with a D cell. Here we have the D cell battery holder. I use this B cell battery holders usually in my cordless battery fountains. For the external battery of this normal fountain, we have this diesel box. There are the batteries inside. You can have four or three if you use this uh, uh, dummy battery. Just a dummy instead of a battery. So then you reduce the power to 4.5 volt instead of 6 volt. 6 volt for four D cells. So one, four times 1.5. You just connect the diesel or you can use a USB battery. This is a small one, it's an angle, so fountain runs approximately three days, maybe a bit more, with this battery. So just connect it and the fountain runs with diesel. So you can put these uh, batteries inside a box if you like. Here I have, it's quite a bit big, but anyway, for demonstration. So use this box and put the battery inside, close it and it's hidden. You can put it in behind, I can't hear the setting, but you can put it in behind and then uh, it's not, it's out of the way. So instead of this sieve here, you can also use a Securable sieve cover, you see, 
this one it has a hole inside and you push this uh, pin underneath the lid through the sieve itself through the mesh and through this hole out of the other side and so kitty can't lift it up and pull it out of the fountain so and you have you see here a uh, cutter pin there are three of them one uh, now my cable is not long enough so let's get out of the way with this box so one two and the third is here so let's connect it back to the wall power adapter. So with this cotter pins Kitty can't lift it up, so it's secure. So inside, so what else you can have? Here we have a uh, UV light. This UV sterilizer is inside the fountain. This with a suction cup, you push it and suck it uh, to the floor, fountain's floor, and the UV light. There are both sides are UV lights, and this UV light will. Uh, yeah, sterilize and uh, uh, the fountain, the inside of the fountain, the water, the surfaces and so on and uh, yeah, gives you additional security because it kills bacteria and viruses and stuff like this. It's not a strong light but it's strong enough to do its job. It's low voltage so you don't have high voltage it's 12 volts so you don't have uh, much power inside so this sieve cover prevents the radiation prevents from the radiation so and as well as the sieve itself with its foam pad inside so now you hear the back falling water it's uh, multiple function of this pre-filter pre-filter it's a flow smoother and it blocks the UV lights from getting outside of the fountain so let's look inside So here you have a few the inside of the fountain. Here you see the filter cartridge with a 360 filter inside and the pump. This little notch here, the black thing, is uh, the flow control valve. So you can adjust the flow. So and the cable goes through this notch and the lid itself has a, you see, a black marking here on the side and when this aligns with the, with the indentations and the lid sits stable. Okay so let's go back and so here you see the structure the structure of the lid. So now a closer look. So let's switch it on again. You see how the water bubbles out. Oops. So when the foam is soaked with water then the flow will be smoothed, smoother and the noise fades away.
So, that's my mermaid fountain. <laughs>